What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Explore USA RV Super Center in Bernie, Texas, and we're going to take a look at this really cool compact real light travel trailer. This is a travel trailer that's really going to be ideal for vehicles that have, you know, roughly that 7,000 pound maximum tow rating. It's going to fall well under the 6,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating I generally suggest for most half ton trucks. So hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so let's first take a look at the numbers on this unit. This is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of only 4,895 pounds. This is gonna have a cargo capacity relatively light of 863 pounds. It's gonna ride on a single axle that has a 15 inch D-rated tire on it. So it is one 4,400 pound axle, which is plenty for this size of trailer. You're likely gonna see about 600 pounds transferred to the back of your vehicle when everything is said and done. When you load it up with everything you have, the weight distribution hitch, and you're set up to go with full propane tanks and batteries. But this is the size of trailer. Again, that would be perfect for like maybe a Ford Expedition or a Tahoe, something that has, you know, that seven to 9,000 pound maximum tow capacity. And it would definitely be something you can tow behind a half ton truck. I still would recommend a weight distribution hitch as well as a sway control because wind affects things like this, just like any larger trailer. It's really gonna cause it to dictate how the trailer is pulled by the truck. So you just wanna be careful. Anyways, let's take a closer look around the outside of this unit. It has a manual front tongue jack. It has a single propane can up front that has a nice little plastic enclosure around it. Coming over here, it's gonna have a very compact entrance into your pass-through storage on this side, but then it gets larger on the other side. I do like the fact that they have a battery disconnect switch here already. This has scissor style stabilizers outside of your water heater. This is where your fresh water and your city water connections would be. This is gonna ride on a, looks to be a five inch I-beam frame. The belly of it is enclosed and it has your low point drains right here. Has a single Schwintec slide on this side. Nice high gloss finish to it though, so it looks really nice. 30 amp connection over here, cable and your black tank flush. Here are your sewer connections here. I love that they put gate valves at the very end. Keep you from having any strange surprise when you remove that cap. On the back has a walk-on roof with a ladder to get you up there, LED lighting. It is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. And your spare tire, which is kind of that off-road style spare tire is mounted to the bumper. It's good for easy access. Surprisingly, it does have a small cargo trailer receiver here in the back, so you can put a cargo rack. It is not designed to tow. You do have a propane connection here as well, so if you have a gas grill you have out back, you can connect it there. Has a nice full-length awning, almost full-length. It runs all but about maybe three feet of this side. Outside of your furnace, you have some outside speakers here. What's really nice is that this unit utilizes a torsion axle on it as well. So essentially it's an upgraded style suspension system. Here is your access to the other side of your pass-through storage. Much, much larger access. You can definitely fit quite a bit in here. It's actually surprisingly large. And it has a slam latch, something else that's kind of rare to see on units this size. It gives you the ability to connect full solar up to this unit as well. Let's take a look inside of this very compact RL186 from Real Light. Asdell on board, that is awesome. Nice flip out steps as well. So this is essentially a Murphy bed style setup. I don't really know if you call it a Murphy bed because Murphy bed typically goes to the wall. You drop these pillows and then the mattress would flip out over it. And then you have some additional storage underneath your seats, which is really nice. Actually, it's pretty deep storage too. You gotta pull these pretty far out to access it. And they just slide under there. You can see your dinette converts into a bed and there's storage underneath here. Very, very cool. Nice little kitchen area. It probably could have benefited from a flip up counter here at the end give you a little bit more countertop space, but at least they give you a cooktop that's recessed and has a glass cover so you can do some prep there. Nice stainless steel single basin sink. You have your TV already mounted. 
good storage all around, has a 12 volt refrigerator. Your single AC unit is not ducted. More storage, more storage. Now this unit, you know, it's really designed as a couple's unit, but you could easily bring, you know, if you have a couple small kids, they could sleep there or really one would sleep comfortably. The other one would, wouldn't be so comfortable and would risk falling off the end, but you could sleep too there if you really wanted. This is gonna convert into a bed, of course, and you know, you could take a family of four out in something like this. Be a little cramped, but not too much so. Taking a look into the bathroom area, you have your nice vanity sink over here with mirror and medicine cabinet. You have some storage right here for towels, toiletries, things like that. Nice size cornered shower. That is actually much larger than I thought it was gonna be. But it is a cornered shower complete with shower curtain around it as well. Good ceiling heights in here too. You could probably be upwards of about six, three and comfortably fit in there. And it has a porcelain foot flush toilet. Wasn't expecting that. Very nice. That's a vent handle up there to open up the vent. Overall, this is a really cool, compact travel trailer. And again, this is really the size and weight that I recommend for certain types of vehicles, right? This is definitely something most half-ton trucks can easily tow. And I say most because believe it or not, there are some half-ton trucks out there that only have like a 6,100 pound towing capacity and incredibly low payload. Those are typically some of your base model, low gross vehicle weight rating trucks. and. You know, I know that typically when you don't get a lot of features on a truck, it increases your payload capacity. But if the truck has a low gross vehicle weight rating, then your payload capacity is gonna have to be adjusted for that. I've definitely seen trucks that fall into that category. But the overwhelming majority of half ton trucks can easily tow this. This is definitely something that you can put behind like an Expedition or a Tahoe that has a higher tow capacity. But again, dialing in a weight distribution hitch and using sway control is a must because regardless of how your vehicle can tow this, it's handling it when it gets windy or when you're going through adverse conditions that really matters. And that's something you wanna keep in mind. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. And this specific unit has an MSRP of $26,270. I don't know what the sales price is on it, but I imagine you could probably get this one for under $20,000 if you negotiate. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.